just beneath your Christmas tree, with all the blinking lights aglow, sits a small reminder of a birthday long ago. So find yourself a comfy spot and listen as I tell the Merry Christmas story of the very first Noel. There's Mary, Joseph, Shepherds, and those three on bended knee. That handsome guy's Melchior. I should know. He's me. I was part astrologer and half a cup magician, just a touch of doctor and a fraction mathematician. My job title was wise man, the guy with all the smarts. I could always find the answers by referring to my charts. One night while I was working, I noticed something bright. What came upon that midnight clear gave forth a brilliant light. Now, this star wasn't on my charts. It seemed a, a mystery until I searched through all my scrolls and found the prophecy. The king of kings will come one day. A star will be the sign, a signal that the world is in for something most divine. Who'd have thought a guy like me would get a chance like this? The king of kings was something I wasn't gonna miss. I, I can't go empty handed. Let's see, what could I bring? Gold, a perfect answer. It's a gift fit for a king. Just a little earlier, God sent his angel down to see a girl named Mary in a quiet, humble town. So Gabriel took a nonstop flight to the land of Galilee with a note tucked tight beneath his wing marked, Special Delivery. Now angels rarely choose to knock, so right inside he flew. Excuse me, miss. God sent me with a message just for you. <clears throat> Blessed Mary, full of grace, the Lord has picked no other. God's son is coming down to earth, and you will be his mother. It seemed a little strange, but she spoke back to the light. I will be his mother? Oh, that simply can't be right. I'm sorry to seem doubtful. I don't mean to disagree. Are you sure you have the right address? Why would the Lord pick me? I know this is confusing, but that's just the way life goes. The answer to your question is, heaven only knows. Although the things I'm saying sound impossible to you, it won't be long before you see there's nothing God can't do. Well then, I'll keep the faith since you're certain I'm the one. Let these things be as you say. The Lord God's will be done. Just a few nights later, God's light gently streamed across the face of Mary's guy as he sweetly dreamed. Joseph, I assure you, what you've heard is true. She will be his mother, but he'll need a father too. Folks will call him lots of things, like names that mean 
God with us. He will call you mom and dad, and you will call him Jesus. Jesus. Joseph woke up from his dream and did as Gabriel had said. He went to visit Mary, and soon the two were wed. Several weeks had passed when, by the light of that same star, there came a second wise man by the name of Balthazar. He seemed a mighty fellow, as wide as he was tall, and just like me. He answered when the starlight came to call. <clears throat> it happened as I charted out a distant constellation. Something struck me from the west. A cosmic revelation! A wise guy by profession, I knew just what it meant. So I chose to follow it no matter where it went. Later, as we navigated through a winding canyon, we came upon a third wise man. A welcome new companion. Oh, wow. He had traveled from the distant east, the east that's called Far. <laughs> and bowing with a gentle smile, he spoke his name. Gaspar. Looking at his campsite, we could see he'd overpacked. It seemed to us experienced with all young Caspar lacked. Then opening our saddlebag, we, we made I did confer about our kingly gifts of gold and frankincense and myrrh. We'd come from far off lands and even far off shores. Now we'd go together as goodwill ambassadors. Joy to the world, the Lord is come. Joy to the world. The Lord is come. Let us sing our songs and plough our fields and flowers, rocks, hills and plains. Repeat the sounding joy. Repeat the sounding joy. Repeat, repeat the sounding joy. Then Caesar of Rome issued forth a decree. Make sure everyone's paying taxes to me. Get the head of each household and send one and all to their family's hometown for a giant roll call. Send them all back from wherever they came to sign a big list with their address and name. Now, Mary was pregnant. Still, Joseph was told, Tax season is here. You must all be enrolled. So Joseph left town with his wife by his side as he took Mary South on a long donkey ride. Looking up, we saw the star shining in the west, way beyond us far. And to the earth it gave great light. And so we continued both day and night. One. 
One, two, three little sheep. Suddenly, I realized we had fallen asleep. The clouds had rolled in as we'd taken our rest, blocking the sun. Uh, wait, which way's west? <laughs> then, cresting the hill, we found a surprise. For there lay a city right in front of our eyes. It's magnificent. Regal. So shiny and pretty. Excuse me, kind sir. What's the name of that city? Our faces lit up as the Good Shepherd told. Jerusalem's the name of the place you behold. Now, knowing the name of our grand destination, we thanked him and raced off without hesitation. There was no big to-do when we walked through the gate. Maybe we're early. I just hope we're not late. <clears throat> we three men of Orient are, bearing gifts we've traversed afar. Over field and fountain? Moor and mountain. Following yonder star. But instead of the king, we met with confusion. Maybe it's heat stroke or desert delusion. A new king is coming! <gasps> then everyone fled. Well, that was odd. Was it something I said? When news of our visit reached its way to the top, the local king's fun was brought to a stop. There was one thing for certain he did not condone. A suggestion that someone was after his throne. A mysterious star. And men from the east? Get me the scribes and grab the chief priest. King Herod was one grade A super creep. As bad guys go, he was top of the heap. There's a buzz around town that has Herod upset. The priests and the scribes were starting to sweat. Take Magi, a star, then add a new king. Does anyone hear a familiar ring? Um, uh, my, uh, Micah and Balaam, among other things, speak of the birth of the king of all kings. And where do these prophets say he'll be born? <laughs> the scribe swallowed hard, feeling forlorn. He took a step back as he watched Herod's face. According to this, Bethlehem is the place. <laughs> the little town of Bethlehem? Oh, your scripture tells a lie. I must deduce it won't produce a king as great as I. Herod sees clearly these magi aren't wise. Be quiet about it and bring me those guys. Meanwhile, not too far away, Mary felt a kick. I think tonight's the night. Well, then we'd better get there quick. By the time they got to Bethlehem, all the inns were booked. Signs that read, no vacancy, hung everywhere they looked. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, but the inn is full. I, I have no room for you. I do have something uh, different, if you're willing to make do. Just an hour before, we'd felt so elated. Now, even our camels were looking deflated. You've got the wrong city. Why don't you try Rome? Well, thanks for coming. Have a safe journey home. Did we go the wrong way? I wish that I knew. Did we take a wrong turn? Oh. We've been looking for you.
visitors from the east. Herod means you no harm. Being new to the region, we fell for his charm. Herod knows something you'll be happy to hear. The end of your journey is drawing quite near. We were thrilled by the words that next came from his mouth. You're looking for Bethlehem, just five miles south. Bethlehem. Now go find this king, and as soon as you do, bring word back so Herod can go see him too. It was getting quite late. It was just past 10 o'clock as nearby shepherds were tending their flock. First, Gabriel spoke. You have nothing to fear. Then the choir joined in. Do you hear what I hear? My friends and I have been heaven sent to welcome you both to tonight's big event. God's son has been born, and he'd like you to go see for yourselves so that others might know. What a great honor. We'd love to be there! But, as you can see, we have nothing to wear. The Lord doesn't care if you're shepherd or sheep. The Lord doesn't care if you're mighty or meek. Because your God loves you, he's sending his son, not for rich or for poor, but for everyone. Then wishing them peace and a world of goodwill, he left them in awe atop of their hill. They straightened their robes. They were very excited. Who would have imagined that we'd be invited? Angels we have heard on high, sweetly singing o'er the plain. And the mountains in reply, echoing their joyous strain. startled by the sight, for starlight bathed a stable on that silent, holy night. All those months, we thought we'd find a king of wealth and might. But in that blessed moment, we three wise men saw the light. the rich and poor, and out-of-towners, too. He came for all the moms and dads. He came for kids like you.
because early the next morning, mm -hmm. when Gabriel was sent to warn us of King Herod's maniacal intent. Wise men, listen closely and do just as I say. Do not return to Herod, but go home another way. Next, he went to Joseph. Take your family and make haste. Go hide inside of Egypt. There's no time to waste. And as the new day broke, the shepherds went to spread the word. We'll make sure people know that something wondrous has occurred. We'll spread the news a little here, then then we'll spread it there. We'll go tell it on the mountain. Or the hills. And everywhere! Then with true love and brotherhood, each other we embraced. <laughs> and pointing slightly south this time, back toward the east we raced. Joy to the world, the Lord is come. Joy to the world, the Lord is come. He rules the world, the Lord is come. He rules the world, the Lord is come. And makes the nations grow. The glories of his righteousness and wonders of his love, and wonders of his love, and wonders and wonders of his love. Joy to the world, joy to the world. Just above your sleeping town, with all the blinking lights aglow, shine millions of reminders of a birthday long ago. So find yourself a special star and take time to recall that glorious first Christmas. That's the reason for them all. Joy to the world. Joy to the world.